Hi, my name is Christina Govinda, and today we're going to talk about how paper-backed fusible webbing works. Paper-backed fusible webbing is a useful tool for adhering a variety of textiles together. For this project, you'll need two different kinds of fabric, your paper-backed fusible webbing, scissors, an iron, and an ironing board. And I'm going to be using a pen. Another name for this fusible webbing is called transfer web. It fuses your two fabrics together and directions on how to use it are on the paper and is part of the packaging. Before you start your project, make sure you read through the directions thoroughly. It's going to give you clear steps on how to use it. There are a couple of different ways you can start. You can either iron just a piece of fabric on there and then cut out your shape, or you can have your shape already cut out, trace around it on the paper, or just cut around it and go that way. Laying my fabric down, I'm going to Gently trace around the heart. Now using my scissors, I'm going to cut out the heart shape. Once you have both hearts cut out, place your fabric face side down and then place your fusible webbing on top of the hearts, lined up as best as you can and make sure that the rough side is face down on the back side of the fabric. Using your iron set on hot and dry with no steam, I'm going to place it down on the heart. This is going to attach the webbing to this piece of fabric. You're gonna press for five to eight seconds. Let your fabric cool. Once it is cool, Turn it over and we're gonna try and peel off this paper backing. Be gentle with your fabric so as to not distort it. Once your paper is peeled off, you can see that the fusible portion is now on your fabric. Decide where you want to place your object, lay it down, smooth it out. Once your shape is turned over, you're gonna cover it with a damp cloth Make sure your iron is turned to the wool setting and then firmly for 10 to 15 seconds. Press down and iron it on. Remove the damp cloth and then use your iron to dry up any excess moisture. Once your fabric is cooled, this portion of the project is finished. Knowing how to properly use fusible webbing will help prolong the life of your project and save you a lot of frustration. Thanks for watching.